Steve Guadagno, KL Artist Sports are here with BJ Flores. What's up? Uh, man, first time he's ever not been favored, Jake Paul. Uh, yep. In camp, was there any any difference that you saw just being that he wasn't favored and it was the first time ever and you know maybe he had that motivation of like this guy's not going to kick my ass even though people think he is business as usual man we're excited about it like jake, jake's been working his ass off jake's been dog grinding out every day and it's just a great opportunity for jake to get out there with the guy who people think is going to beat him mm -hmm. and uh get out there and, and show the fans what he's been doing in, in training camp mm -hmm. and uh, i'll tell you right now it's been a lot since last december when he fought to, to where he's at now is completely different mm -hmm. what I, obviously, you know, everyone's talking about, you know, Jake took that picture with Anderson when yeah, he was, when he he was, was younger. Incredible. It, it, does he, did he talk to you about that at all? Just kind of the significance of like, man, this guy was my idol and now he's my rival. Yeah, I understand that. It's great. Like, I think a lot of times we're, we're young up and coming fighters, watch their idols, take pictures with them, and then they get to the point where they could potentially fight and things like that. But look, I mean, Jake's a professional. Anderson's a professional. Um, you know, maybe they, there was feelings in the past. But once the bell rings, they're both going to go out there and they both got a job to do. And, and I'm sure they'll both do it. Uh, Jake, uh, I've, your critics have talked about like his stamina. He gets maybe a little tired. I mean, he is, you know, six fights and, and eight rounds, which is, you know, I, I feel like most people around six fights is still four rounders, things like that. So yeah. it's almost double what the what the, the, the average is. Uh, do you feel that that's an issue at all? Or? Not at all. Not at all. Like I said, like every every great fighter has Floyd couldn't punch. Uh, you know, uh, Tommy Hearns didn't have a chin. Sugar Ray Leonard, he wasn't serious. And every uh, there's always critics. You can't worry about that. But I'll tell you this: Jake's ready for eight rounds. Jake's ready for four rounds, Jake's ready for one. doesn't matter what it is. We just go one round at a time, but Jake's going to be ready, and uh, I'm not worried about that at all. We've smart eight, ten rounds of camp, rotating multiple guys in many times. So, How, how was uh, Chad Dawson in camp? Great. That's he's a excellent. Big name, man. He's a champion. He's, he's, he's a professional. He's excellent. Him, Rydell Booker, Richard Van Sicklin, 14-0, up-and-coming prospect. Rydell Booker, 27-6, and six, another good prospect, or another good, uh, you know, like a, like an older fighter is also very good. Um, Robert Daniels Jr., 7-0, and oh, another good south. But we, we, I'm bringing all the best guys I can find because that's how I feel like Jake gets better and uh, when, you, when you're in there with better guys and you're in there with guys who bring something to the table Jake's got to take it serious every day we sparred was almost like a fight mm -hmm. so there's no easy work there's no practice like oh we're just gonna go easy there's none of that the Kronk style sparring every time and that's uh, that's that's what Jake was doing this whole camp I like that Kronk style I yeah, like man. that because everyone yes. knows that everyone knows yes. those, those legends uh, just as a boxing fan man I'm, I'm sure he were disappointed like the rest of us Spence Crawford is not happening this year I'm not surprised <laughs> Why is that? I'm just not. I just, I don't know. Like, I hear all the back and forth and everything, but like, look, let's, let's, the, the truth of the matter is, Spence is the draw. Spence should get the more money. Spence is the bigger name. Spence had sold more pay per views. And, and, and Terrence Crawford, if he wants to fight, he should take, take the courting, the courting money, whatever it is. And I'm sure there's more to it than that. The rematch clause, why, why are you worried about all that? Just take the fight, bro. Like, you haven't sold what Spence has sold. So Spence has sold a lot more. Recognize that as what it is. Take it for what it's worth. These aren't invented numbers. You know what I mean? Just take it for what it's worth. Take Take less the money if you think you can beat him then beat him and go out and do it and then you'll still make more money than you've ever made before so mm -hmm. i feel like spence has not fought very many good active champions before until sean porter and sean porter's already a little I'm not gonna say on the downside at all but i'm just gonna say sean porter is already kind of on the back part of his career he, terrence crawford fighting sean porter five years ago now that would have been a dog ass fight mm -hmm. but i'm saying like there's I, I still can't really recall any names on the terrence crawford resume that make me think oh man he beat errol spence mm -hmm. so in your opinion if you had to put blame on why it didn't happen it you would kind of lean more towards Crawford. I'm not. I'm like? not. I'm not going to blame either one because I'm not part of the negotiations. I'm just going to say that if you look at the numbers of it and you look at what Spence has sold compared to what Crawford sold. It's not that hard to figure out. Like Spence should be paid more money, and you're trying to get, you know, whatever money you're trying to get parity with Errol Spence and then the rematch. Bro, just, just recognize you're the B side. If you can beat him, go beat him. Then go do it. Go beat him. It's still more, way more than you're ever going to make in your career. So take the fight, beat him, show everyone you can beat him, and then you can you can call the shots after that. Right. I was going to say the rematch clause was whoever loses kind of takes the B side role as yeah. far as money wise. That's it, fair. It was, and right. Crawford should be the B side on the first one because Spence has fought tougher guys and better guys. Right. If you look at the look at the resumes. Uh, Last one, man. Hopefully, again. I mean, we'll see if it, if it comes through. But the rumor is January 17th, uh, Tank versus Ryan. Ooh, I love that. That's a great fight. And people are writing Ryan off, but he's a dangerous guy. Joe Goose has got that boy looking real good, man. I'm a big Ryan fan. He looks good. But Tank, look, Tank. I don't have nothing bad to say about Tank at all. Tank's a great fighter. He's very explosive, very tough. Ryan better be careful. Ryan better keep his hands up. Ryan better learn how to move his head a little teeny bit better. But man, I'm a big Ryan Garcia fan. I'm a big Tank fan too. So if that fight gets made, I will be there ringside. I promise right. you that. I can't wait for that. I mean, I, you know, a lot of people, when I talk to them about it, 
they tend to tell me they think you know Ryan maybe early or you know not, not, be, not yeah. by knockout but more yeah. just you know kind of from the Roley experience Roley was winning that fight prior to, to getting knocked out do you see kind of something like that maybe Ryan could kind of box him for a little bit and then you know he just has to stay careful Tank is a knockout artist though Tank Tank looks for that one shot Tank's not trying to help point you Tank's not trying to go out there and, and pity pat Tank's setting you up like a sniper so I, I can't I mean you better with Tank you better be you better be on guard 100 but you, you can never take time off with Tank Tank is nice and Tank is one of those guys where um, you you better constantly be doing things to watch out for his left hand his right uppercut his right hook I mean he's got a lot of weapons man so you got to really really be careful and you know Ryan when he fought Luke Campbell got hit with that overhand left and he was a southpaw too I mean look he's kind of shown now where Luke Campbell's a taller southpaw and everything but but Gervonta Davis brings a lot a lot of tools and he brings a lot of danger so it's one of those fights you got to be sit on the edge of your seat both guys can punch Tank's got the better resume of course he's been there longer fighting better opposition for longer but you know Ryan's Ryan's a real talent man he's got a real ability and 140 he looks fantastic right no yeah. it looks great BJ thank you so much for cool. your time brother tell the fans about where they can follow you uh, on Instagram BJ Flores Pro and on Twitter uh, BJ Flores Pro I think too yeah so right, I don't yeah. really use it that much but yeah <laughs> I appreciate best, it yep. best of luck brother appreciate cool. it